What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As you saw in the beginning, I did do a second coat and I've already gone ahead and done the third coat of paint on the Wave Runner here. It's looking pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. But I'm going to do one last wet sanding with a thousand grit on everything because you can kind of see right here there's some haze and it's just got, you know, like, what's it called? Orange peel to it. So I'm going to wet sand it with a thousand grit and then cut and buff it so like right here i was talking about there's you can see kind of a line so i'm going to wet sand here as i already did before and then we're going to go ahead and cut and buff it and i have my polishing pad and my compound cutting foam pad so hopefully i think i'll only need the polishing pad because it shouldn't be i don't have to like cut it in too much because i'm going to wet sand it so i just got to buff it out so we're going to go right on ahead, wet sand everything, and then go on ahead and buff it. And then start reassembling everything, like the front hood here, the front push piece or bump piece, and then the back handle. And then we're going to wash it all down because the buffing is going to get a little messy. So let's go on ahead and start wet sanding. So I just finished cutting and buffing. I did have to use the cutting one because I did have to go down pretty deep or hard in some spots. And I did have to switch the wheel because I can't find my seven inch pad. So I was using these six inches. So I had to switch to a four inch because I unfortunately made a boo-boo. And luckily here it's flat again. So I'm gonna have to just clean these out, but I did rub the edge right here. So that's on me, but it's flat. Like there's no, like lip here so I think the compound I just have to wash it out but otherwise these things here came out the transition came out pretty pretty well I would say on this side and decently well on this side you can still see it in a little bit but once I wash it it's not going to be that big of a deal but I mean look at this shine it's it's still I got compound that's why I have to wash it but I got to put everything back together remove all the tape and uh, so remove the tape, put everything back together and then we're gonna wash it. So I'm gonna go do all that right now.
Well, there it is everyone. Finished product, just got done wiping it down with some detail spray. And it's not the best thing in the world, but for what it is, it looks fan freaking tastic. I just gotta wait for my new numbers to come in from the state with this whole uh, stay at home and shutdown going on. I don't know when I'm getting those. I sent them out like a week or two prior to all this happening. So maybe I'll get them, we'll see. But anyways, paint looks way better. There's no giant hole in the side right here. No more giant paint chips here. It's all nice and smooth. Same thing on this side. No giant chunks missing or gashes. All this is looking fantastic. And I did a little detail on the plastics here and there. And I painted that black as you guys saw previously. And I would say it looks really good black. It kind of adds to the contrast of everything. And with the seat cover, as you saw, got the one with the red stripe to match all the other red on here. And I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna be very happy next time I take this thing out because now it doesn't look like complete garbage. It looks a lot better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little build series with the Wave Runner. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, if you haven't done this already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.